Hey guys, so this is just a video that I wanted to do to help provide some answers, hopefully, if you are experiencing what we call like ghost touching, specifically, if, if you don't know what that is, it's where if you're scrolling through the phone, trying to select maybe an app, and you touch, a, uh, select a certain app, but it selects a different one, even though you did not intend to select that one, or it, it selects an app, even though you're not touching the screen, or navigating the phone, you're not touching the screen at all. Um, so I just did a screen repair on an iPhone XS Max, and this is more specifically towards iPhones is kind of where I feel like we see it the most when they come through, sometimes with Samsungs. Um, regardless, it's usually, if we're seeing it, they all kind of have the same issue. Uh, specifically with iPhones, um, there's a there's a number of different things I want to kind of cover the most common or, or the the ones that we see uh, some of the things you can fix on your own and some of the things uh, you know you would have to take in to either have repaired or fixed depending on what's going on so one of them being is when this is just this is just a blank screen but I'm going to show you what was going on with this one it's going to be a little hard to see but kind of show you what was going on with this one specifically um, but one of the things that can happen is when the iOS 14 came out they had an issue where people could not navigate the screen at all and you know, we had several phones specifically it was iPhone XRs and iPhone 11s that we saw the most coming through where you were trying to just open the phone swipe up to open the phone could not do it at first we initially thought well it appears that something is wrong with the screen and then kind of was messing with it one day and I found that if you did a full power cycle uh, where you do volume up volume down and hold the power button until it forcefully shuts it off restarts it that solved the issue um, I have seen one phone come through with the new iOS 15 coming out where it that was the same thing. I don't remember what phone it was, but the, the individual did the iOS 15, wouldn't, couldn't navigate the phone, did the power cycle, and the phone has worked since. I haven't seen them come back with, with any other issues. Um, so if, if you're experiencing that and the phone is undamaged, you're like, it's a new phone, I understand what's going on, try power cycling it. Usually you have to Google that because uh, if, if you can't touch the screen, you know, you, you do your power cycle and you go to swipe to power off you can't do that because the screen's not allowing you to touch or use it functionally that way so usually it's a uh, you know on the latest ones is power up power down hold the power button and eventually it'll go through a power cycle you see the apple logo come back up let go of the power button and then it's good to go um with this phone in particular iphone xs max all original parts this is an original apple screen but what had happened is the individual had dropped it and you can see there's a crack on the back. Usually if you break the back glass, so if you're, if you're like, ah, you know, the screen's not broken, but I did break the back glass and I'm having issues. For you to break the back glass, especially if you have a case on it, it took a pretty hard hit at one point or another. And what this individual had, and it's gonna be hard to see, I don't know if I can get it on camera, So I'll try to get this on, on camera here. It's a little tough, but they actually, and I kind of have to pull out a little bit. I don't know if that's visible, but the glass started to separate from kind of this mid frame that Apple has for their screens. So, and I've seen that happen where it takes a hard enough impact that the glass starts to separate. And so you have like three layers. You got your back kind of, display mid frame the glass and in between both of those is called the digitizer and when those start to separate um, and they're you know those layers are moving uh, uh, around that's where you get the inconsistent touching or the ghost touching going on with the screen um, so if, if that was the case and you can't see that until and a person can't know that until a lot of times until you take the the screen off right and so as i was starting to remove it to check this screen 
that's what I found is that that phone took a hard enough impact, actually started to separate the glass from the from the display, and that in turn affects the digitizer. Um, the other thing that I've seen happen is where the glass is not separating, but there is maybe a small chip or crack in the glass. And then what happens is as the individual is using that phone, moisture gets like, and this can just literally be from having in the bathroom, they're taking a shower and the phone is on the counter, that the moisture gets in there, gets in between, in between those layers from where that crack was. And then with the moisture in between there causes the ghost touching as well. So, you know, if you have a crack on your screen, you're having issues and it's just getting worse and worse, that would probably be an, a, a place or a reason for you to get a new screen put on because you're going to have that. Um, reasons that you really want to try to probably get that resolved if you can't fix it yourself, either by doing a, a hard reset of the phone or waiting for, you know, if you want to wait it out, Apple usually comes out with another update because every time they have, in this case, we went from 15 to 15.0.1, and now we're at 15.0.2 already. Um, every time they're doing that, they're fixing bugs in the system. And uh, so usually once a new update comes out, that usually helps resolve it. Um, otherwise, the the other reason why... You know, if if the hard reset's not resolving it, the update's not resolving it, that you are having the display issues, I would strongly recommend getting it repaired or replaced because what I've seen happen is the ghost touching can get bad enough where it locks you out of your phone. It would be as if you put the wrong um, password in long enough, locks you out of your phone, and then in order to get you back in, uh, you have to flash the phone. Right, you put your Apple ID uh, back in your Apple ID password. Everything you had saved in the iCloud will come back, but if you didn't save all of your information in that iCloud, it's gone. It's you. You will not get it back. Um, so, if you're having a ghost touching issue, strongly encourage you to go get that resolved. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, the, the crack screen, moisture getting in, the screen separating from, or the glass separating from the body can become an issue. Um, I have seen it where moisture gets in from the back of the display, right? Maybe the screen itself is okay and good, but moisture gets in on the back side, gets up to where these flex cables here connect. And then that can cause issues. Uh, I had one in here recently with that going on. They were having display issues. Everything would work from time to time and then cause issues, open it up. That was what happened. Moisture got in and was eating at the connection points, and not just on here, but on the main board. And in that case, I actually recommended not fixing it going forward, just because usually once you have corrosion starting on the main board, you're going to see it progress into the phone more and more, and it just doesn't work, right? Um, it just becomes a ticking time bomb. So um, other than that, that would be the, the main reasons why you would see the ghost touching. So if you're having those issues, if, if they're not resolvable uh, on your own, I strongly encourage finding a good... Uh, device repair shop to to do the repair like i said i've seen that on samsung's too where specifically usually it's due to moisture like a crack in the screen or the the glass separating from the screen and then or uh moisture getting in behind or in between that causes some of the ghost touching as well but for whatever reasons uh iphones are seem to be more sensitive to to those kinds of issues but Hope that helps, and uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment, and hopefully I can answer any of those questions you might have uh, with the ghost touching.